Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back. We got the Phillies at the Giants here for you today. Uh, again, uh, May uh, 14th, 1949. Giants are 19 and 6. Phillies are 9 and 8 in the last place. Here's uh, Putsi Caballero, who uh, promptly hits a fly ball into left field. Lockman's got it for the first out. They'll bring up Andy uh, Semenik, who uh, takes a strike and then hits one down. The left field line just foul. Oh, and two the count now. There was a ball to him. One and two now the count. Sheldon Jones pitching for the Giants here, three and two so far this season. Two and two as he misses with that one. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to uh, Rigney at uh, short, and he makes the play, throws to first for the out, two away, and that'll bring up uh, Del Ennis. Ennis up there takes a ball, one and zero now the count on him, and there's one hit over to Marshall in right field, and uh, he's got it for the out. We go to the bottom of the first. Here is uh, Willard Marshall now, who will be up against uh, Ken Heinzelman. And uh, that one is inside for a ball. Heinz went one and four with a 5.2 on ERA. This seems like the Phillies of old. One and one the count now, Marshall. And there's one high. It's two and one. And there's a curveball wide. Three and one now the count on uh, Willard. He hits one deep to right field. That's a fair ball and a home run for Marshall. He has a 10 game hitting streak now. And that'll bring up Sid Gordon, one nothing Giants. And uh, it's going to be one of those games, isn't it? One and one now the count on Sid. There's a. Uh, Ball to him, two and one now. There's a ground ball over to the right side. Foul, it's two and two. And there's one close, but not quite, full count. Count remains full, three and two now the count. And uh, he didn't go around on that one, and he walks. It's ball four. Gordon goes to first. Here comes Bill Rigney. Let's see if we can get Gordon to run. There's a ball in there to Rigney, one and oh the count. There's a strike to him. It's one and one now, and let's do a little hit and run. And there's a little fly ball over to Ashbourne in center field. He's got it for the out. Gordon has to go back to first. One away. Here's Walker Cooper. Takes a strike. Oh, and one the count. Cooper hitting 233 and hits a fly ball over to Nicholson in right field for the second out. That'll bring up Whitey Lockman. Lockman fouls one back. It's 0 and 1. And uh, there's a swing and a miss of that off speed pitch. 0 and 2 the count now. There's a ball high. 1 and 2 now the count on Whitey. And he pops one up over to the right or left side, rather. It's Jones who has it for the out. We go to the top of the second. 1 0 now, Giants. Phil Nicholson up there, and he takes a strike, and then a ball. One and one the count now on Nicholson. He fouls one back. It's one and two now on him. Here's a little fly ball over to center field. Thompson has that one for the out, and there's one away. Here's Dick Sissler, who uh, takes a ball. One and oh the count. And he gets that base head out over into center field, that ball over the heart of the plate. He's the first into the game for the uh, Phillies, and up comes Willie Jones. He takes a ball, and then swings and misses at a strike. One and one the count, and that's one outside. It's uh, two and one here on Jones. And that's foul straight back. Two and two now the count on Willie. And there's a pitch inside that just misses. It's a full count on him. There's one belted down to right field. And boy, that is over um, uh, left field, rather. It's over Lockman's head and into the seats for a home run. That makes it a 2-1 ball game. This is just like the last time these teams played. You had a whole bunch of home runs. Granny Hamner up there now takes the ball. And there's one south of the knees. Two and oh the count. Two to one Phillies. There's ball three in there to him. And a strike. Two to one Phillies have come back. A little pop-up over on the left side. Um, Rigney is going to grab that one, the shortstop, for the second out, and that'll bring up Richie Ashburn. He takes the ball high. Two to one. This game's turned around quickly. Two and oh now the count on Rigney. There's a little um, fly ball over there to Marshall in right field, and he has to dive for that one, slides for it, and is able to make the catch. Spectacular play that um, ends up uh, robbing uh, the hitter Jones of uh, extra bases. And so uh, what we do, of course, is we take a little celebratory uh, photograph there, or a screenshot, rather, of uh, that one, and uh, we'll put it here in uh, my appropriate folder. Here's the Great Plays folder, and we just go ahead and stick that one there. Computer's going to be a little bit sluggish today because I'm doing a couple things at once. That's the way it works. Johnny Mize up there now. Bottom of the second, takes the ball. 1-0 the count on Mize. Foul straight back. 1-1 one one now the count on Johnny. There's a ground ball over to second base. Caballero has it, throws the first for the out. One away. That'll bring up Bobby Thompson. Thompson uh, takes or fouls one back into Seminix Mitt. Oh, and one the count, and there's a ball. One and one now the count on Bobby. A little ground ball over to Short. Hamner has it, and he hurries the throw. Gets uh, Thompson barely at first for the second out. And here comes Jack Lork. He hits a ground ball over to Caballero, and there's the play to first. We go to the top of the third. Still 2-1 Phillies. It's a ground ball to second. Lork has it, throws to first for the out. One away. Here's Caballero, who uh, fouls one back. Oh, and one the count. It's one over to center field. Thompson has it for the out. Two away, and here's Andy Semenik, who fouls one back. Oh, and one. Takes one high, one and one the count now. There's a swing and a miss at a pitch down and in. It's one and two, and that's up high. Two and two the count now in Semenik, and he swings and misses at that one, and down he goes. And so we will go to the bottom of the third. Sheldon Jones up there takes a uh, strike on the first pitch, and then a ball. One and one the count now on Jones. There's a strike in there to him. It's one and two, and uh, he swings and misses at that one that was in the dirt for strike three, and that'll bring up Willard Marshall. And there's a uh, breaking ball in there for a strike. It's 0-1 on Marshall. There's a ball to him, 1-1 one one the count. That's fouled away, and it's 1-2, and, and that one's just low, 2-2 two two now the count. 
and there's one low for a ball, ball three, full count now, and that one just missed. And so Marshall comes back in the at-bat and is able to work the walk. That'll bring up Sid Gordon, who walked uh, his last time up. And uh, there's one fouled off now to play 0-1 oh, the count on Sid, and there's a ball 1-1 one one now the count. There's one high 2-1 and one now the count on Gordon. There's a little ground ball over to short, and uh, Hamner has a flip to Caballero for one on to first for the double play. We go to the top of the fourth. Dale Ennis takes the ball and uh, pops one up foul, 1-1 one one the count. Hits one deep to right field, and Marshall goes right in front of the stands for that one, makes the catch for the out one away. Bill Nicholson now takes a strike. And uh, there's a ball, one and one now, the count on Nicholson. There's one outside, it's two and one, and there's a swing and a miss on that one, two and two. And there's a swing and a miss, finally again, for strike three, two away, and here comes Dick Sisler. Sisler takes a strike in the outside corner, the count 0 and one, and there's one off the edge of the play, one and one the count now. A little pop-up over to uh, the left side, Gordon has a four, the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth, fast-moving ball game, and here's Bill Rigney who takes the ball, only three hits so far in this one. There's a strike in there to Rigney, one and one the count. It's fouled up and back. One and two now the count on Rigney, and there's a ball high, two and two. It's fouled back to the string, still two and two. And there's one in the dirt, full count now on Bill Rigney as Heinzelman almost fell over. There's a little ground ball over to Caballero at second, makes the play and throws to first for the out, one away. Walker Cooper up there now, takes a ball, and another ball, two and no the count on him. And there's a strike, it's two and one now on Cooper, and that one is high and inside, three and one the count. There's a little ground ball over to the shortstop, Hamner, who makes the play and throws over to first for the out, two away. Whitey Lockman hits a little ground ball to Jones at third, and he makes the play again, throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the fifth. There's Willie Jones, who takes a strike, and then a ball. One and one the count now on Jones, and that's ball too high. Two and one now the count. There's strike two right down the middle, and then there's a one swung on a miss. That's strike three. And here comes Granny, uh, Granny Hamner. One out here in the uh, bo- top of the fifth as he takes a ball and a strike. One and one the count. There's one fouled back. It's uh, one and two. And that's low and away for a ball. Two and two now the count. And there's a ground ball over to Rigney. Makes the play and throws the first for the out. Two away. Here's Richie Ashburn who takes the ball low. There's one away. Two and no the count. There's a little ground ball over to Lork, or Rigney rather, makes the play. Throws the first for the out. And that does it. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Johnny Mize up there. This is a fast game. Mize takes a strike and then hits a ground ball over to first. And Sisler does it himself. Heinzelman forgot to cover on that one. Doesn't seem to matter. Thompson takes a strike and a ball. One and one the count. And there's a ground ball over to Hamner at short, makes the play and throws the first for the out two away. Here's Jack Lork, who takes a strike, 0-1. And, and there's a ball, 1-1 one one now the count on Lork. There's a ground ball hit over to third. Lork, Jones has and throws the first for the out. We go to the top of the six. There's Ken Heinzelman up there. Takes one low and away, 1-0 and the count. And uh, that's another one outside, 2-0. and There's one inside, too far, 3-0 and the count. There's a strike over to Heinzelman, 3-1 and one now. And that one's popped up and uh, out of play. Full count now on Heinzelman. And that's inside. Jones is Jones has issued his first walk of the day, and it's to the pitcher. And that brings up Putsy Caballero. Takes two straight uh, strikes, 0-2 the count. He hits one over to the uh, right side. Lork has it. It's a little pop fly for the first out. Here comes Andy Semenik, and he hits one over to center field. Thompson has it for the out two away, and that'll bring up Del Ennis. Ennis fouls one back, 0-1 the count. And uh, there's one low and outside for a ball. 1-1 the count now, and that's out and away, 2-1 now. And uh, there's strike two, two and two now the count on Ennis. There's a little ground ball over to Rigney, and he makes the play over to uh, second base to Lork, and uh, that does it for the force out. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and the Giants are running out of uh, time to come back. Only hit was the first batter of the game. Uh, one and one now the count on Jones. And there's a little, uh, little uh, ground ball th- up the middle and past Hamner for a base hit. And Jones, the pitcher, has the second hit of the game for the Giants. That'll bring up Willard Marshall. Marshall hits one deep to right field, but not deep enough. Nicholson has it for the out, one away, and that'll bring up Sid Gordon now, runner on first. And there's a ball high, 1-0 the count on Gordon. There's a uh, fastball the knees for a strike, 1-1. One one. That one's off the plate, 2-1 and one now the count on Gordon. It's fouled straight back. It's a 2-2 two and two count now on Sid. And there's one ripped over to right center field, and that will be a uh, base hit and more, and we'll try to send Jones around. And he is safe at the play, and that was a real risk with him being a slow runner. But uh, since base hits are at a premium here, I had to do it. Two to two now the score. Here comes Bill Rigney, only one out bottom of the sixth inning. The Giants are coming down. There's one hit deep to left field, not deep enough for a home run. Ennis is able to catch up with that one, but uh, Gordon tags the second, makes it over to third. So with two outs with Walker Cooper up, there's a runner on third. And there's a ball in there to Cooper, 1-0 and the count. There's one low, 2-0. and Cooper 0 for 2 and uh, hasn't been having a great time as of late. Two and one the count on him now. There's a fastball and misses for a ball. Ball three, three and one the count. And there he takes ball four, and we uh, have him go over to first base. It'll bring up Whitey Lockman. Runners on at first and third. And there's a change up high for a ball, one and no the count. 
and then does strike. One and one the count now on Lockman. And he swings and misses that one. It's one and two. And there's a little ground ball over to the right side. Caballero has it, throws the first for the out. Told you base hits were scarce. We'll go to the top of the seventh. High ball game. Bill Nicholson uh, hits one over to uh, Mize at first, who flips over to Jones for the out of the bag. One away. Here's Dick Sisler, and he uh, fouls one off. 0 and 1 the count on him. That's fouled straight back. It's 0 and 2. That one misses high. 1 and 2 the count now on Sisler, and that's in too tight. 2 and 2. And that's just inside. Full count now on Sisler, and that's foul back. Count remains full. That's driven deep to right field. Marshall goes back and grabs that one for the out. Two away. Here's Willie Jones, who pops up a foul ball and uh, gets out of the way of that one. One and one the count now on him, and uh, that one is low. Jones had the home run earlier. Three and one now the count on Willie. And there's a little pop-up, and Cooper just can't get to a full count on him, and there's a little fly ball over to Marshall in right field for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Johnny Mize up there now, takes a fastball high. And uh, there's one on the in on the strike zone and the inside part of the strike zone for a strike. Another ball, two and one the count. There's a changeup on the black, two and two now. And there's a little fly ball over to Jones uh, at third base for the first out. Here comes Bobby Thompson, who takes the ball. And uh, pop uh, fly that gets just out of play. One and one the count on Thompson now. And he dumps that one to center field for a base hit. Bring up Jack Lork, and let's see what Lork can do. He takes a breaking ball low and away. One and no the count. And there's a strike to him. It's one and one now on Jack. There's a ground ball straight up the middle, and boy, that's a really bad play by Hamner. Hamner, behind the bag, had a chance at a double play, and instead of getting the double play, ends up booting it, and uh, both uh, Thompson and Lork are going to be safe. So with one out, here comes Jones in an obvious bunting situation, and uh, that might turn out to be a really uh, key play in this ballgame, uh, as uh, instead of a double play that would have uh, gotten the Phillies out of the inning, um, they uh, have to not settle for absolutely nothing. Not only do they get nothing out of this, um, but uh, the worst part of all this is that uh, you uh, have uh, the top of the order coming up in a second. Jones, a uh, good bunter, is going to bunt. And he shows bunt, takes the ball inside, 1-0 and the count. And he bunts this one back out of front. And uh, Heinzelman makes the play, throws over to Caballero, covering at the bag at first. But both runners move up. And uh, now there are runners on at second and third with uh, two out here for uh, Willard Marshall, who's one for two today, including that uh, home run that he hit earlier. So... Uh, this is, uh, as I said before, this is a real tense uh, part of this ball game uh, because uh, if uh, the uh, if the uh, Phillies are not careful, the Giants are going to take the lead here, and Marshall uh, fouls one back off. 0-1 oh, the count now on Marshall. 1-1 one one is that's a inside fastball, and uh, he swings and misses the one for a strike, 1-2. and two. There's a little ground ball over to Hamner, and he makes the play this time over to first for the out, so much ado about nothing. We go to the top of the eighth. It's Granny Hamner, and uh, he uh, takes the ball in the dirt, 1-0 oh, the count. Here's ball two to him, two and oh now. And uh, there's a strike, two and one now the count on Hamner. And uh, there's a strike in the outside corner, it's two and two on him. And that one's high, three and two, full count now on him. And boy, Jones gets him in the outside corner for strike on number four this game for Jones. One away, here's Richie Ashburn, takes the ball, one and oh the count. And there's a little um, little bunt single down the first base line, and Mize can't get there in time. That's one way to get a base hit, only the third hit of the game for the Phillies. Here comes Heinzelman, you know he's going to bunt. And uh, Jones um, makes the play, uh, and uh, actually Gordon makes the play over to first. Two away, here comes Putsy Caballero, hits a little ground ball over to uh, the uh, third base side of the mound. Jones goes over and grabs it, throws over to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, and here comes Sid Gordon. He hits a foul ball down the left field line, loud foul, and there's a shot to the gap, and Gordon's going to get in there for a double. And uh, this is one of those reasons why these uh, Giants are in first place, because they keep getting base hits like this. As good as the Dodgers have been, the Giants have to lose uh, the way the things are. I think I've said this before. The Giants have to start losing um, for the Dodgers to gain ground on them. I think that Brooklyn has an eight-game winning streak. You haven't seen it, though, because they're still about five and a half games back because New York has this winning streak, too. Here's Bill Rigney. Rigney swings and misses the first one. 0-1 oh, the count. Hit one deep to left field, and that is out of here. That's a home run. That makes this quickly a 4-2 to two ball game, and... Uh, that may be all she wrote for this one. We'll see what happens in the top of the ninth inning. But uh, Rigney able to get the big two-run homer. And um, that uh, that's a pretty, pretty big hit there for the Giants, I would say. And, uh, you know, uh, Brooklyn, I've, uh, I haven't mentioned much about this yet, but uh, Brooklyn is Don Newcomb now, which is going to make them uh, quickly the favorite as Cooper Fowles went back on one the count. The ball inside, 1-1, one and, one. and so the Giants need to keep winning if they want to have a chance at it. There's a ball to Cooper, 2-1 and one the count. Pops one up, 2-2, two and two, as that was foul. There's another foul ball. 
And uh, there's one lined up the middle. Caballero has it for the first out. First out after two runs have scored already, and there's a ball in there to Lachman. Want to know the count to him, and he hits one over to Sisler. The first baseman makes the play himself. Two away, and here's Johnny Mize. And uh, takes an inside fastball, four ball, one and oh the count. There's another one inside, two and oh now the count on Mize. And uh, there's a fastball in the strike zone, the inside corner. There's another fastball in there for a strike. It's uh, two and two the count, count now full. And uh, Mize is able to hold up in time on that one and takes his base. And here comes Bobby Thompson. He hits a smash on the third base line, just foul. Owen won the count now on Thompson. And he hits a little ground ball over to Jones. Jones makes a play and throws over to first for the out. We go to the top of the ninth inning. And uh, here comes uh, Andy Semenik. And uh, swinging and missing the first one. Owen won the count. There's a little ground ball over to Rigney at short. Makes the play and throws the first for the out. One away. Dell Ennis up there now. Takes a ball high. 1-0 the count. And there's one way inside for a ball. It's 2-0 on Ennis. Swinging and miss on that one. 2-1 and one now. And uh, that's just outside. 3-1 and one now the count on Dell. And there's a little ground ball up the middle for a base head. That'll bring up Bill Nicholson. And uh, we do still have to pay attention in this game. We can't uh, sit around thinking that there's no way the Phillies are going to come back because they are potentially mounting a comeback as we speak. Runner on first base, only the fourth hit of the ball game for the Phillies. But it doesn't matter. The thing that matters is what's in the run column. And uh, the uh, all they have to do is get two, and uh, they only need one hit for that. There's a ball in there to Nicholson, one out. And there's another ball, two, no, the count now on Bill. And there's a little ground ball over to Lork. Lork flips it over to Rigney for one. On to first base, not in time. And uh, that brings up Dick Sisler. Still one out to go. Sisler takes a strike. Owen won the count. And there's one foul. Back to left down play. It's uh, Owen two. And there's one inside, and that's off of Cooper's glove. It's going to be a passed ball. doesn't matter, though, because you have a two-run lead. There's one just high. Two and two the count now. And there's a good pitch, but it misses. Full count now on Sisler. And there's a little comeback over to Jones. Jones has it, throws over to first for the out. And that does it, so the Giants will remain in first place. And, uh, boy, that was a fast game for you, wasn't it? Hope you enjoy this one. I'll uh, see you with another one tomorrow. Bye-bye.